Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and this is a very late plan with me video for August of 2020. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, and I'm going to walk you through the planning and reflection that I've already done. The reason I film after doing this process is to give me some time to think and reflect and analyze things and then give you a concise overview. Also, as you'll see, I don't really use any fancy pages or there's not really any tips or tricks to show you. It's just text and lists. So it's um, no tutorials to be had in this video. And I just want to acknowledge what's going on with the pandemic right now. I'm in Southern California and things are still really far from normal. So I'm just kind of chugging along as best I, as I can. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do is review my goals for last month, which in this case is July. I have a page set up and then I use a color, either in a highlighter or another color of um, text to just add my commentary and the results. And the color doesn't have any meaning. I just use kind of whatever color I feel like it. Um, so I do most of my evaluation at the end of the month, but I do make notes as I go. And so this page we're looking at shows my goals that I had for One Noteworthy Life, which is my uh, YouTube channel and blog. So the very first goal I had was one that I've been working on for a while, and that is creating and sticking to an editorial calendar. It's actually way more challenging than I thought because some videos take just much, much longer than I expect. And um, it's just been hard to predict how long things will take and how I can, you know, when I can get them out. So this has been my really like top goal for the last few months is to stick to that editorial calendar. And um, in July, I felt like I had made enough progress that I could set the goal that I was going to get all my July videos out and then uh, without making my first video of August late. Uh, well, that, that, that the first video I had scheduled for August is this one, the Plan With Me video, and it's uh, 13 days late. Uh, it was due on the 4th. I'm filming on the 17th. Now, on, on the surface, that probably sounds like a pretty big miss, but it actually represents progress because for the months I've been working on trying to stay on an editorial calendar, I couldn't even put a concrete goal like that in place. So now I know what the figure is. It was 13 days. That's what I need to beat next month. And if I try this for a few months and can't do it, then I know that something else needs to give somewhere. So um, even though it's really late, I still feel pretty good about it. So the next goal has to do with the Take Note Chat. That's my monthly live stream show where I host a guest here on my YouTube channel. And I had been on hiatus for a while, so I was ramping that back up over the last few months. And we're in about our fourth month um, of having you know new guests come on. And it's really done with the ramp up phase. I'm in maintenance now. Um, July's chat went off successfully. It was great. Uh, I'm well on the way with August August's chat. And one thing I did was expand on the timeline of all the tasks I do leading up to the live stream so that I know when I'm on time and I've created just sort of uh, landmarks in there so that I know when I'm on time or not. And that's been really helpful. And then the other thing I wanted to do was make a plan for how to reach out to potential speakers um, and a way to track who I've been in contact with and where they are in the process. And I've done that and it's going great. And that'll just be kind of an ongoing work in progress. I also wanted to make progress on my fall event and that's going awesome. And I know I've been talking about this. I haven't told you what it is yet, but I should be announcing that soon. Like by the time I do my next plan with, with me video, um, all the information on that will be out. So I'm very excited about that. So let's move on to my personal goals. Um, I always start with a calorie goal because I'm actively working to drop some extra weight right now. And somehow uh, I managed to drop some weight during the uh, kind of stay at home and quarantining. So I feel really good about that. But I stalled during the month of July. I didn't hit my calorie goal and my weight loss stalled. So I want to try and increase that a little bit. This is how much I under eat by every day and um, see if I can restart that weight loss. The next goal has to do with this idea of be ready. And this has been my focus for 2019 and 2020 and probably beyond. 
Um, I have a playlist linked in the description of what this means and how I plan to go about it. But in short, I want to be just more ready for whatever life brings my way, whether it's an opportunity or, um, you know, a problem, a crisis, whatever. And I've been trying to do all of my daily habits every day. Um, and it's working great. I want to keep on doing it, especially since my husband and I are both working at home all the time now. So, um, the house gets messier and it's nice to keep it clean and stay on top of it. So I've really been enjoying that. And then the final goal I had was to finish up the HVAC upgrade we did in March. Um, we, HVAC is heat, ventilation, and air conditioning. So we did a big upgrade to our system, but there's a whole bunch of little, you know, handy person type projects I have to do, and I just have not been able to get to them. So I didn't finish this. It is what it is. Um, and July, I like to have this section called what else? And this is just things that um, happened good, bad, or indifferent that changed how my month unfolded. So I want to keep paring down my daily routines to what I can do on a regular basis. Like once I get to something that's really manageable, something that I'm always on top of, then I can talk about like adding some more to it or tweaking it or whatever. But for right now, I want to just get to the point where I'm current on everything and I do everything every day. So for the take note chat, I just had this thought about maybe there's a better way to collaborate with my speakers. We collaborate ahead of time before the actual live stream happens, just settling dates and, and titles and that kind of thing. And I've been doing it in a Google Doc, but I'm just wondering if there might be a better way like Microsoft Teams or something like that to do that. So it was just kind of a thought. And then the final um, comment I had was that, like I said, I'm really enjoying doing all those daily habits because they're paying off and it's, you know, feeling really good to feel more on top of things. So the last thing I look at is this was my July plan. This is what I thought I would be doing in July when I set up the year back in January. And fortunately, I had nothing planned for July, which is good because there's really not much happening <laughs> where I live. Um, and then this is my July calendar that is all filled in. I like to write down something good that happened each day so that at the end of the month, I have this really nice, colorful page with, you know, just all kinds of good things that happened. Uh, so now it is time to show you how I set up August. So, um, for one noteworthy life, I want to stay on top of that editorial schedule and again, get all my videos out and not make my first September video late. So we'll see, we'll see if I can beat 13 days. I want to make progress on my fall event and hit the milestones I've set for myself. And then the final thing is, is that my business license is due at the end of the month, but that's pretty easy. So I'm not too worried about that, but I just wanted to have it in there as a goal. And then my August personal goals, pretty, pretty familiar by now. Um, those calories, like I said, I'm going to try and under eat by 410 calories a day. In the area of be ready, uh, I'm focusing on doing all of my daily habits and getting everything caught up on that. And then finally, I would like to finish those final few uh, projects dealing with the HVAC. But we'll see if that happens or not. And then this is my August annual plan. And again, this is what I thought I would be doing in August when I set up my annual plan. But this being 2020, very little is going to plan. <laughs> So, um, I just mentioned that, you know, I have that business license due and then I have two family birthdays and we've been doing those virtually. So that's, you know, they're already scheduled and all that's going off just fine. And then finally my August calendar. So it's already filled in cause I'm filming partway into August. Um, and that's that pretty simple. I'm keeping it pretty simple these days. Um, as I often do during my plan with me videos, I want to encourage you to start or expand your own process of goal setting and evaluation. This single thing has helped me so much to reach a lot of goals that I've, I've wanted for myself over the past few years. And I feel like it's flipped my mind to be more in problem solving mode. Like if I don't hit something, I look at it and I say, well, why didn't I, what could I do different? What would help? What's something in my toolbox that I can use? So it's been really helpful and it does not have to be fancy. It doesn't have to look good. Um, and you can even start with just one simple thing, but 
I really just want to encourage you to start or expand a process like that for yourself. So if you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, uh, comment below and I will do my best to answer you. I would love it if you'd subscribe and I publish videos like this along with OneNote tutorials uh, and things like goal setting, life management, of course, my monthly live stream show, the Take Note Chat, and all of that is uh, here if you want to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.